Yes, my people, good day. Working on this E90 M3 ITBs, the throttle actuators. We're going to rebuild those. So, you get off the plenum and the earbox. This harness here, see, so you just have it propped up right there, it's just like that. You'd have to undo this, come from the AC compressor. Then there's another plug right there. These little plugs on top. This one there. These plugs are difficult because the release. It, 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 it's on the top and the lower part so you have to be reaching under to squeeze and it will be a challenge getting these off but i did that there's a bolt here bolt here which corresponds with a bolt there another bolt here one bolt in the back another one on this side i took the three bolts out that secured this and also undid this just pop it off right off three bolts out and then now uh, this is it this is what actuates when you put your foot on the gas this thing here is a motor and it turns and it pulls the rod right here and then it pulls the rod like so vroom, 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 vroom. you see that yeah so we're going to take this apart and change the gears in here the plastic gears yes my people good day welcome back to the channel and don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel because it helps to support the channel so we can grow and the videos can get out to more people so yes we get the kit from odometer gears and it is a very comprehensive kit you even get the drill bit and then also the roll pins that go with it so you all you need is just your skills and your ability to effect repair and i'm going to show you exactly how we deal with this thing so right off the top we have to remove the cover which is not really just a cover it's actually the circuit board that controls the whole operation so be gentle with it so removing the torques six torques i think it's um t27 and then now you gently kind of pry up with it with this pocket screwdriver take it off easy see the board see what it look like there yeah man definitely gadgetry yes so put that to the side sometimes the boards themselves go bad but we are doing the gears today this top gear it just comes right up and out so yeah that one kind of easy but this part kind of tricky now because you're working the drill bit kind of going from the side and you end up straighten up because what you're actually trying to do is just weaken that gear because you're going to break that gear off of that shaft see and you just twist it so i reposition the vise and just hold the shaft itself before you see me twist it right and then now i turn the body and then it put pressure on the gear and it does snap off you need it to break off now sometimes the little piece is left on there you get a little love tap I move it back out the way just like that see watch 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 just like that but one of the things them know is when you do all the drilling and then also from the gears wearing over time you get don't forget that washer that washer very important and don't forget to put it back in you get a lot of dust and stuff build up in there but it can it can go on because this has a lip so you have to file this down so I hold the shaft in the vise protecting it with this rag and just start filing I could use the bench grinder but the, the 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 wheel i have on it is kind of aggressive and i want this to be somewhat kind of smooth so i just use a little file it didn't take that long you know what i mean and the file is a good quality file so just file 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 and just knock it down keep turning it and just knock off the edges kind of smooth it off and then that way now when i knock that little lip off now i am able to install the new gear right here so i'm gonna put the arm right there in this spot is where i'm going to drill the hole you'll see you see me drill now i'm gonna look at depth peel up on that so you see that little piece of tape right there that is the depth that i'm going so i put a little you see and i know when to stop drilling after drilling we have one more step we have to separate the gear from the shaft because the shaft cannot go back into the housing with the gear installed so separate the shaft from the gear put the shaft into the housing and then install the gear we're about to do it pay attention mm -hmm. just blow it out a while ago mm -hmm. all right so this can now push in all right don't no, forget that the instruction says to use a little glue so i'm using some epoxy put on the shaft and then also on the gear to ensure that there is no movement while in operation now installing the gear you have to kind of hook the edge of the spring or the top part of the spring into that little loop right there and then turn it 
360 degrees to kind of pre-tension the spring and then install it to the shaft so this is kind of a little tricky part so i'm using one hand to hold the shaft steady as i install the gear on it now the roll pin use a needle nose to hold it firm to get it started and then i'm using my little teeny tiny punch at this angle it was giving me a little bit of a fight well you know it's just a challenge as soon as you start trying to do something new and different you unlock all the challenges it takes to make it successful so i have to reposition and go from a different angle and then after a couple of taps you see it finds the hole and slips right in there yes that is the best way to go from that angle right there yep love it man mm, so it installed now and looking like something now i am checking the end plate it has to have a little bit of end plate probably them say like oh, millimeter and a half two million so it has to go cluck, 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 cluck. that's what a millimeter and a half sound like yes so we just check it and it does if you put it too tight what happens is when it gets hot in the engine compartment then the metal expands and it tighten up and it start malfunction these two blade looking things sticking up are the connection points for the cover so they fit into two slots in that cover so i was looking under there making sure i don't miss the spot after doing all this it's time to put it all back together so i had removed the harness for the injectors this time when i was taking it apart and you don't have to go that deep yes so i'm just showing you what not to do so the injector harness on this side you don't have to disturb and to get to the harness i had to remove this breather cover also the um secondary air pump i had removed that because the harness was so rigid and it was in the way and i didn't want to stress that flexible plastic right there so i had removed it but afterwards i realized i could work around it now I had to clock it correctly for it to fit into the spot so you see i just roll it there because i didn't realize it was flexible on the connection point right there so just helping you out when you are working i'm just showing you some missteps not really a misstep more like unnecessary steps so you can save time and time is money so there's also an electrical connection on the secondary air pump tube right there there's so many sensors on this engine yo let me tell you and the way they assemble it and put it together is quite unique i've worked on many cars before and this m3 engine was a special project i can tell just by the how it is put together especially in a good way so tightening up back the secondary air pump now finally got it into the spot connecting all of the wires and stuff associated because these actuators are below that electrical harness and it is just so rigid and so many wires coming off of it man let me tell you it is a master class in undoing clips and connectors let me tell you this piece here when removing this it is held in place by all those itb hose connection the screw clamps so it's going to be eight screw clamps it's going to be one electrical connector up front and a breather hose in the front below where my hand is right now and then also one big one in the back <laughs> all right that sound good finish tighten up all the little clamps clear some codes take it for a drive but definitely um they're working so we will see how long they stay working so yes my people don't forget to like share and subscribe it helps the channel grow thanks for watching have a nice day bless yeah.